hapa Lamu. Kwa sasa shughuli za kiuchumi zimesamaratika kwa sababu ya mfumko wa bei ya mafuta ambao umeanza tu hivi punde na tayari imeanza kuleta shida wana biashara na wasafiri na wenye kujitafutia ruzuku yao ya kila leo ni kwamba kupanda kwa mafuta kutoka asilimia nane mpaka asilimia sita imeleta changamoto nyingi sana na tayari dalili zimeanza kudhihiri bei ya kutoka hapa kwenda mainland kutoka kisiwa ni Lamu ilikuwa ni shilingi mbili hasa inapanda mpaka shilingi nne hiyo ni mfano mdogo tunawapatia na hiyo inamaanisha bidhaa zikipanda kutoka mainland kuja visiwani huku itakuwa tayari zishapandishwa bei maradufu kwa hivyo huduma mbali mbali zinapandishwa na hali ya kimaskini ni nyingi na mambo ya ajira yamekosekana na makazi ni machache hivyo basi tumekuwa hali yetu taabani na hatujui tukamlilie nani mafuta kulingana na mambo ya transport ikija huku kama Nairobi mfano anulua na tano huku na nulua na mbili na kumi. Sasa ndio tunaumia na abiria tuwabeba vile vile kwa bei ile ile ya kitambo. Sasa itabidi sisi tuongeze angalau ifike tatu. Abiria tuwabebe kwa tatu. Kama ni mbili hamsini si ndio tutakuwa tunaumia. Tutakuwa tuwafaidisha tuwa mafuta lakini sisi makapteni ndio tunaumia. A, kwa sa, kulingana sisi ndio tuliopatia nani rais wetu tulimpigia kura ni sisi sote tumeamua tumempigia kura. Na, na kumpigia kura kwa tutataka mabadiliko. Hasa kama mafuta itakuwa yanatuumiza design hii hatujui tutaendelea vipi kufanya kazi na sisi tuko na familia tuko na watoto tutaalisha vipi na wakati sisi tuomia kwa upande wa mafuta Serikali kukuwa kwa order hii imekuwa ni culture kwa kutokea za zile rejimu zilopita na tumeona sasa Ruto ajua aliahidi alisema judiciary itakuwa independent na sisi tutakuwa ni watu ambao tuna abide by the law na tutafuata sheria sasa nimeshangaa Mahakama jana ime, imeanza kufanya kazi yake na imesitisha bei hii ya mafuta kupanda ili serikali isipandishe kwa sababu saa hii viko mahakamani. Lakini mimi ninashangaa tukiinuka hapa saa hii tumeona mafuta yamepanda. Kwa hivyo tunaona serikali yenyewe inakeuka court order. Na hii ni culture ambayo imepita kwa rejimu mbalimbali na tungeomba serikali ikiwa itaendelea hivyo wananchi watakosa imani kabisa na hii serikali. It is to our surprise today that we are paying taxes to the MPs to make laws just for the government to come in and break the same law that costed us to implement. It's very absurd, it's very disturbing that the court can rule the implementation of the uh, fuel price but just opera to come in and implement whatever they want and make it contrary to the judgment of the court. I think this was stopped by the court of law and we as Kenyans, the government and everybody, including the president himself, we were supposed to respect the, the court as we respect the rule of law. Lamo being a remote place huh? and uh, we pay a price of prices of almost everything in this country. So with the inflation and uh, with the hiking of the price of fuel has impacted on us so much in logistics, transport, uh, price of commodities. So I think as much as everybody is paying a lot, but I think people in Lamo they pay more.